We all wish we could ask our departed heroes what they would do in our current world. How would they survive and confront the problems that we are facing now? The hero that I wish to revive is a Renaissance woman who was once referred to as the constant gardener of humanity. Kip Tiernan, or Kippy as her friends called her, born Mary Jane Tiernan in 1926, a writer, musician, activist, speaker, playwright, and Nobel Peace Prize nominee. Kippy shared a common bond with the feisty women throughout history who pursued justice unafraid of the danger of standing up to power. In 1968, Kippy joined a group of radical Boston priests who led protests and burned draft cards during the Vietnam War. Upon seeing homeless women disguised as men on the streets of Boston, trying to get a bowl of soup at a men's shelter. Kippy found her life's calling and a deep empathy for society's forgotten. In the 1970s and 80s, Kippy founded many vital organizations, including the Greater Boston Food Bank, Health Care for the Homeless, and Rosie's Place. Rosie's Place was the first ever shelter and sanctuary for destitute women in the United States. Kippy brought hope and social justice to the disenfranchised through her words and deeds and compassion. She believed that real transformation could begin with a cup of coffee and a conversation. One amazing thing about Rose's place was that it became a place where women who were alone, muttering to themselves in the street, could come in and sit at a table and actually have a goddamn conversation with another person and break bread. When I saw women in line, disguised as men, to get a bowl of soup at a men's shelter. Creating a safe sanctuary loomed large for Kippy, as she herself was alone. I was an orphan by 11. And a drunk by 19, after getting uh, kicked out of the Boston Conservatory in 1949, and I had a full scholarship. After having been booted out of my all-girls Catholic boarding school, how did I end up here, passed out, drunk, assaulted, and filthy, and sleeping off my disgust under a filthy bridge? I should have just brought some more munchkins. Am I even allowed to say munchkins anymore? Well, I finally slogged my way to AA. Oh yeah, I was the only girl in the place. So what, you trying to figure out my pronoun? Now what do you think? Why do we as humans have the will to live even in the most inhumane circumstances? We are accountable to and for each other. That is the theology of survival. And now you see why I was deemed a troublemaker. What an outrage to demand justice. Justice is not three hots and a cot. Justice is not charity. Who we bono, who gets the condo, and who gets the cardboard box? I know. Oh, people love to say how the homeless and the poor and they should pick themselves up by their bootstraps and... But you know, the real fight for them is to be recognized as human. The women started showing up to Rosie's place in Johnny's, for Christ's sake. They needed some genuine love and attention. We are driving our own people to insanity by ignoring them to death. Well, that's genocide by neglect as far as I'm concerned. It is high time for all of us to come out. 
Yeah. That's right. Step up. Mother Jones was right when she said, Pray for the dead, but fight like hell for the living. And that fight, my friends, is yours. <laughs> So come on, 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 come on,